So tonight is going to be an interesting one. We're going to be playing King's Quest, Quest for the Crown. So this is the first, first King's Quest game in the series. I think there's seven, eight, yeah, eight games. Um, if you don't include the most recent installment, which is kind of like a prequel kind of thing, which came out 2015. Um, I haven't actually, well, to be honest, I haven't played any of these games, so they're all pretty much blind playthroughs for me. So this was the first King's Quest game. This originally came out in 1984. It's pretty old. Uh, older than Space Quest, which I think was 1986, I think, off the top of my head. Um, which is probably the oldest one we've played out of these like old school games. So yeah, so this one predates that. Um, it was actually one of the first kind of like popular games that Sierra produced in terms of like adventure games. Before King's Quest, there was kind of like an adventure games, but they didn't really have like the whole like graphical interface thing going on. They were kind of just like static images, and then you'd like put on your text commands. Um, there wouldn't really be a lot of visual feedback for the game. So yeah, um, King's Quest I think was one of the first kind of games to feature interactive graphics and kind of like started off the whole point and click adventure kind of thing. Um, well, text-based adventure, not so much point and click that came at a later date, but yeah. So yeah, it's kind of like one of the founding kind of series in that genre, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so this is a complete blind play for me, which is going to be pretty painful, I would say, because these games are like notorious for being really difficult. Um, so we're most definitely going to be using a hint system for this playthrough. There has been, I think, two remakes of this. There was like an official VGA remake. It was done in like 1990 I think by Sierra and then there was also a fan a fan made one which I think was done in like 2000, 2001. Um, but we're going to be playing the original one because I like punishment apparently. So yeah, without further ado we will get into it. Go. Spectacular soundtrack there. King's Quest. So this is actually 1987. So this is actually the um they did like an kind of like an updated version of the original 1984 one from as much as I know. Um don't know much of the differences between the original and this one. I don't think there's a lot. I think maybe like a little bit more story involved. But yes, that was the intro. Very beautiful. And these are our graphics. This is very Space Quest 1. Actually, did we play the... No, we didn't play this, this version of Space Quest 1, did we? We played the remake, but Space Quest 2. Space Quest 3 is very much on the level with um with those graphics. So I'm thinking it doesn't really give you much of a story here. I don't know if that comes into it at a later date in the game. So I'm just gonna read like the synopsis for this so we kinda know what's going on. Um so So yeah, there's um well this one's King's Quest, but there was the updated version. I think is this one? Which was re retitled King's Quest, Quest for the Crown, because the original didn't have like a subtitle, whereas I think all the games um, after this one did, so they kind of like updated it to, to time off the others. But anyway, the plot for this is the Kingdom of Daventry is in serious trouble after its pre precious magical items have been stolen. One day, King Edward the Benevolent rescued a beautiful young Princess Dahlia. Uh, yeah, Dahlia of Cumberland, but on the night of their we wedding, she was discovered to be really an evil witch who stole the king's treasure. Knowing that he had to save the kingdom, the dying kin King Edward sends his bravest knight, Sir Graham, to Cumberland on the quest to rid the treacherous witch, outwit the assorted villains, and retrieve the three lost treasures. Because he had no he heir, if Graham should succeed, he would become the next king. So, a lot, a lot at stake for old Graham here. Alright, 
So this is incredibly slow. So we're going to just um, bump the speed up a little bit. There we go. That's a better pace. Getting his groove on there. Um, what do we got here? Info, file, save, restore. Yep. The usual. We're going to be doing a lot of saving, I imagine. Uh, game, we've got C object in inventory. You are carrying nothing. Press enter to select, escape to cancel. Alright. Um, inventory is also the same thing, but different somehow. I guess C object you can like inspect them and then inventory just shows you your inventory. That seems kind of pointless, but okay. We've got actions, apparently. Swim, jump, and duck. You obviously can't swim here. You need to be in the water in order to swim. Makes sense. Um, duck. Whoa. We can duck. Can we get back up? Yeah. Good stuff, Graham. And we can jump. Pa. Didn't even know you could do that in these games. That's interesting, because like, those base quest ones did not have anything like that. So I'm curious as to where that's going to come in handy. Okay, so first things first, we're going to have a look around. So you always do in these games. Survey your surroundings. You see nothing special. Well, that doesn't help then. Um, can we look at specific things? Look at tree. This is a very beautiful tree. It is very, very beautiful. Can we climb it? Got to climb the tree. No, that would just waste time. Well, fine. I wanted to climb the tree. Um, look at castle. This is the castle of King Edward the Benevolent. Pretty cool title, Edward. I like it. Now, so we've got we've got a moat here. Looks like it's got some crocodiles or alligators. I never know the difference. Alligators. Looks deep and dangerous. You can see. You can see alligators floating in the water. Well, we're going to stay out of that water. Most definitely. Now, how are we going to... Okay. Wait. Oh, misfortune strikes and you have fallen into the moat. Your struggles and cries have attracted hungry alligators. They do not want to let you go. Well, okay. little jingle. Uh, we at Sierra wish to thank you for playing King's Quest. We are very sorry that you did not succeed and hope you will fare better next time. Good luck. Thanks, I'm probably gonna need it. Okay, what well, we're just gonna have to... Well, we can't restore because we haven't saved, so just restart. But that's okay. We literally took like four steps, so not a lot of progress lost there. Okay, so this bridge could be a bit of a hassle to get across. Um, did I save? I probably don't really need to save yet, do I? Okay, we're just going to have to be super careful when we cross bridges. Alright, what else have we got here? Some trees and stuff. This is a very beautiful tree, but you don't know which tree I'm looking at, do you? Could be looking at any of these trees. Look at bushes, maybe? You see, nothing special. Okay. Never mind, we'll continue to the castle. Dun, dun, dun. More alligators. Alligators everywhere. King Edward the Benevolent, the mighty ruler of Daventry, lives in this castle. So I believe King Edward is who we're supposed to be seeing. So we should probably go in there. Say hello. Whoa. Epic. The huge doors swing open slowly. Pa pow. Doors are open. It's an interesting layout here. Very Oh no, I thought this I thought this was like a hallway and these were like the walls. These red long red bits, but it is a carpet. I can see that now. Okay, so look around. Interesting look at room. The long marble hall has a cold, dreary feeling. Good to know. Usually it kind of tells you what's in the room. 
but I think it usually only tells you stuff that's like actually worth inspecting so can we like look at statues don't understand statues what else would these be called look at probably not knights because they're only like god do remember this game is like there we go this is the armor of one of king edward's knights from years ago pretty cool has it got like a spear wow yeah i have to remember this is like a lot older than the space quest one so it probably understands even less what am i doing that i already did that um staff spear it's probably not going to understand spear if it didn't understand weapon nope well moving on let's keep going more hallway how oh my god how do you spell chandelier Shan... this is gonna be wrong i don't know how to spell chandelier is that chandelier we may never know because it probably doesn't understand it anyway let's look it up real quick oh i see it's gonna test my spelling this game there we go does understand the light from the oil lamp is rather dim in the dark interior of the castle spooky why can i not why can i not move there we go speed seems to be a bit weird in this game like he seems to run super fast and then he like slows down that could make for some interesting uh timing later on if we're trying to like be super careful with our walking what else we got in here this huge tapestried room echoes every sound is this the king look at the king king edward the benevolent is a very wise but elderly monarch his frail body is almost lost in the large throne um let's look at this thing look at tapestry is that his bell tapestry oh damn it we're off to a good start did mention it here tapestry tapestry that's how it spouted wasn't it okay well maybe it just doesn't know that word game doesn't know any words no, i already looked at him talk to wow game really literally the name of your king when you speak to king edward he sighs and says sir graham i am an old man i fear my end is near i have chosen you to prove yourself worthy of the throne as you know our kingdom is weak and poor i have knowledge of the existence of three things that would make our kingdom wealthy and strong somewhere within the kingdom there is a magic mirror that tells the future there is a magic shield that will protect the bearer from mortal harm finally there is a magic chest that is always filled with gold coins go sir graham go and bring me back these treasures if you succeed you will inherit the throne i shall do it king I shall serve you well um no clues as to where these treasures would be maybe we can ask i'm gonna assume we cannot okay don't understand ask maybe we can just talk to him again go sir graham go and bring me back these treasures okay we're not getting any clues then we just got to guess come on graham let's go back down this ridiculously long hallway um okay so i have literally no idea what we're doing now but we're gonna save the game because it's a very smart thing to do in these games oh that's right we've got the old directory thing so i guess we just go like that and then we can go um treasure hunt treasure hunt time all right so time to explore explore the kingdom try not to die on a bridge maybe we can look at this tree 
You admire the beauty of the tree. Graham seems to really like his trees. It's all good, Graham. Ooh, what's this? Confetti. Probably not confetti, but... Look at... Ground. Look at... What is this? Grass. Look at grass. What are these things? I want to know. Maybe they're flowers. Okay, this is going to be tricky. See a large grey rock. Push it. This moving rock rolls downhill and you, unfortunately, are in the way. Oh. Okay. Well. That was a good, good start. Good start there. This is why you save a lot. I have a feeling we have to push that rock, but maybe not standing on that side of it. I feel like we're supposed to look at these like flower things, but I don't know. Can we just like look? Look round. Look down. Can't do that, at least not now. Why? Spring my neck or something? Um, push rock. With a heave and a hoe, you manage to move the rock, revealing a dark hole underneath it. <gasps> Mysterious. Maybe we can climb down there. But we'll come back to that. We'll admire some more trees first. There are numerous white birch trees reaching to the sky. But I want to look at this one. Wow. Okay. This is going to be difficult. This is the thing with these older games, is like, the point and click ones aren't too bad because you can kind of like use the mouse to choose what you're like looking at or trying to pick up or whatever. But this one, you have to like literally type what you want to do. And then as you can see, sometimes the game just does not understand what you're talking about. So it's a lot easier to miss stuff. Look at lake. This is a serene mountain lake. Good to know. Look at rock. There's nothing extraordinary about this rock. Okay, we'll leave that rock alone. Um, actually, we do have a swim function. Does that mean we can swim in here? I'm curious. Let's try it. How do we do this? Go, swim. Yeah, we can do it. Oh my god. It's amazing. Did not expect that you'd be able to swim in these games. I assumed you would just drown, like, instantly. Okay. Cool. We can take a shortcut across the lake. Now, this is an interesting looking tree. This is a, this is a very nice looking rock. It's not bad, I guess. I mean, give it, like, a seven, I suppose, and on the rock scale, on the Richter scale. You admire the beauty of the tree. You gotta gotta cut that out, Graham. People are gonna start wondering about you. I don't know what you'd call this, like bush, shrub? No? No idea. No idea. Maybe these trees are not important. Whoa, more trees. We've got a log. Let's look at this tree. This tree looks like it could be important. Probably not. I guess not. Push it. Let's push everything we find. Mm, okay. Um, maybe this log is important. It is only a rotted log. Um, can we look inside? Log? No. Climb. Climb and log. Klimg. Climb in the log. No, that would just waste time. Um, look at stump. From here you can see the stump is very old and nearly petrified. Climb in stump. Damn it, can't do anything fun in this kingdom. God damn it. Well, this is pretty much just trees and rocks so far. 
is a very beautiful tree too. All these all these trees are beautiful apparently. Actually, I think we can just do look rock. Yeah. We don't even have to type at. It understands. Oh, we've got another bridge. Makes a change from all those trees and rocks, that's for sure. Oh my god, we've got two bridges. We're getting spoilt. Spoilt choice here. I think these rocks are all kind of just like nothing. Probably don't need to inspect every single one of them. Um, what is this? Flowers? Flowers are very beautiful. Can we take... Take flowers. You cannot get the flowers, at least not now. What? Why not? Maybe I need to be closer. How do I get to them? Can't reach them. Goddamn elusive flowers. Um, pick flowers. Cannot get the flowers, okay. Well, I guess we're not having any flowers. Oh, wait, what? We just did an entire loop? This must be... The inventory must be on a very small planet. Oh, we got a garden. Look at garden. This is a neat little carrot patch. The plump carrots look tempting. Well, let's get some carrots. Um, take carrot. You pluck a delicious looking carrot from the fertile soil. Yeah, got a carrot. Off to a great start. Okay, so we should be able to do C object. This is one of the tastiest looking carrots you have ever seen. So it doesn't look too bad, I guess. I've seen better carrots, but... From the way you've been looking at trees, it seems like most plants are pretty amazing looking to you, Graham. Okay, so this should just loop back to where we were. This is a really huge tree. Like massive. This is a very large oak tree with branches stretching to the sky. Can we climb this tree? Can we climb, climb this tree? Wait, we can? Oh! Apparently you lost your grip while climbing this tree and you fall to the hard earth below. Oh, dead. You might be dead. Don't die, Graham. You can survive. Ouch. Yeah, he survived. Okay, well maybe we need to be a bit more careful there. Don't fall this time. Stop. Look at nest. There is a pure golden egg lying in the nest. Oh my god, we're going to grab that. We'll be rich. I just gotta navigate this branch extremely carefully. This is like the old vine monster thing from Space Quest all over again. Um, take egg. Golden egg is so heavy you almost drop it. Wait a minute, we actually picked that up? That thing was huge. Smooth golden egg shines brightly in the sunlight. Nice. Um, I'm going to save it. Golden egg. I usually kind of just like write super random stuff for my save games, but I think because I'm not familiar with this game at all, I should probably be a little bit more specific. Because there's a good chance we're going to need to restore one of them. It would help if I know if I knew where I was in them. Okay. Ooh, now some oh shit! What's going on? Look out for that wolf. He can run very fast. Don't let him catch you. Holy Jesus, he's fast! Get out of there, Graham. Why is there a wolf? Oh my lord! Let's not go that way. Um. Whoa! We've got a cabin. Cabin in the woods. Might be like a horror movie. Maybe that wolf's going to come after us again. I'm suspicious now of that wolf. I wonder if it can, like, change screens. wonder if it has that kind of technology. Um, can I pick these flowers? Graham, why do you not want flowers? They could come in handy. Took a carrot. 
Handle has been broken and repaired. The head shows the, sh the signs of many sharpenings. Take axe. The old axe is tightly wedged in the tree stump. You cannot remove it, no matter what you do. Um, kick it. Okay, push it. What? Alright, look at water pump. It is an ancient, rusty water pump. Probably doesn't even work. Well, there's only one way to find out. The rusty pump doesn't work. Okay. Well, I guess that proves it. Anybody home? Hello? Whoa. There are people home. Who are these people? Who's this man? Look around. Man, it's weird that that doesn't work, because usually that's like a typical um, text-based adventure command to kind of get a get a feel of the surroundings. Cottage is run down and sparsely furnished. The only nice possession seems to be a fiddle in the corner. Well, maybe we're going to take that fiddle. Can we look at this guy? Look at man. The woodcutter is thin and dressed in rags. Let's talk to him. Welcome to my humble abode. Pat, pat, pat my legs. Thanks, sir. I'll make myself a home. Who's this fine looking madam? I'm moving. The woodcutter's wife is skinny and poorly dressed. She replies. I'd like to offer you something, but we don't even have food for ourselves. I got a carrot. You want my carrot? I could probably get some more. Can't do that. What are you talking about? Why not? The woodcutter and his wife kindly accepts your gift of food. They offer a heartfelt thank you. Oh, patting their legs. Everybody pat your legs. In excitement. Now, make sure you ration that carrot out, all right? It's going to last you a year. What was this? Fiddle. Fiddle is a beautiful instrument made of polished wood. Um, can we take it? Or are they going to like try and murder us if we take their fiddle? You cannot take their last precious position. But why not? I gave them a carrot. Am I on fast? Damn, it still seems really slow. Uh, look at fairness. Uh, what is this thing? Look at stove. Okay. Never mind. Can we use the bed? What, you, what, 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 what? What do you wish to do with it? Sleep in bed. Ah, oh, man. You won't do anything, Graham. You're no fun. Okay. What is this? Cabinet. Look in cupboards. Oh my lord. Look in cabinet. Well, never mind. Hope you guys enjoy your carrot. You're gonna say anything different now that I've given you a carrot? Nope. Just gonna pat your knees. Everybody pat your knees. 